hello everybody welcome to my channel today we are going to make some quick and easy tasty better than takeout chow mein if you're interested keep watching cooking made easy hi guys before we get started with our recipe, my name is Claude Mott and I am the owner and founder of Lobogo Seasoning. Lobogo Seasoning is an e-commerce website where we sell organic green seasoning, organic meat seasoning, hot pepper sauce, organic barbecue marinade, organic jerk marinade, and so much more. If you're interested in trying our product, I'll make sure to have the link in the description below. And just a recap guys, in this channel, I post quick and easy recipe, and I also post videos about my business and how I run my business, such as a business lunch prep and packaging video. If you're interested, please remember to subscribe. Before we get started, let's present our ingredients. I have some chopped cabbages. I have some chopped carrots and chopped broccoli. I have some chopped bell peppers and onions. I also have some chopped green onions. I have two tablespoons of garlic. I have some chicken that I already cut clean and washed. And we are using the organic meat seasoning for this recipe. And for the chow mein sauce, I'm gonna be using two tablespoons of oyster sauce, a tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of sugar and we are just going to mix them all together and i'm also going to boil some noodles you can use whatever noodles you like all right let's get started okay first we are going to season our chicken with the organic meat seasoning and this is an all-in-one seasoning when you are using this no need to add any extra salt mix it together and we are going to allow a chicken to marinate. We are just going to set it aside for 15 minutes while we are working on our other ingredients. This is what our chicken looks like. Now, let's work in the chow mein sauce. For our chow mein sauce, we are going to add some soy sauce, oyster sauce, and depending on how much you are cooking, feel free to adjust this recipe as well. Sesame seed oil. I'm going to add a little bit more soy sauce sauce. Some garlic. And mix it together. And now we are going to add some sugar. This is our sauce, what it looks like. And I saved some of the garlic because I'm going to add it in the pan when I am sauteing my veggies. Now that our sauce is ready and our chicken is marinating, let's start cooking the noodles. And now that our water is boiled, I just added our noodles in there to cook. And if you have tinned spaghetti, you can use that as well, guys. If you don't have any noodles and you really want to make that recipe, you can use whatever you have. Let's let this cook. And we'll be back okay guys so now that our noodles are cooked I have them sitting in cold water so now we are going to cook the chicken first we added some oil and this is the chicken the chicken has already been marinating for a good 20 minutes After the chicken is cooked, we are going to remove it from the heat and we are going to cook our veggies. Guys, while our chicken is cooking, here's a closer look of our product. This is the organic green seasoning with organic hot pepper sauce. This one comes in two flavors. We also have a garlic hot pepper sauce, organic barbecue marinade, I have a barbecue chicken pizza in my channel. If you want to see how I make the pizza using this marinade, check out the recipe in my channel. Organic meat seasoning. 
this one is the spicy we also have a regular and a mild organic jerk marinade all jerk marinades come in different flavor we have a pineapple jerk mango jerk and we also have a barbecue jerk marinade this is a brown sugar barbecue marinade i also have an oven baked brown sugar barbecue ribs recipe on my channel if you're interested to see how i make that recipe go ahead check out the recipe in my channel and our barbecue marinade also comes in different flavors we also have a whiskey peach we have a spicy whiskey peach we have a bourbon and we also have a jerk barbecue and a hot pepper sauce guys also we also have a mango habanero pineapple habanero and a peach habanero and we also have some organic food if you're interested in our product the link is in the description now that our chicken is ready we are going to remove it from the heat and we are going to add a little bit of oil to start cooking our veggies chicken set that aside let's add a little bit oil now we are going to add our carrot and broccoli so stay for two minutes until it gets tender then we add our cabbages Now we are going to add a cup this. Keep stirring until it gets tender. Now I am adding some of the green onions. Now I'm going to add our bell peppers and onions. We are going to allow these to get tender as well. You can use yellow onion if you like, but I only had red onions and I didn't want to go to the grocery store. So this is what we are using for this recipe. Look at the color of this. It looks so beautiful. And if you are vegetarian, you can use tofu and follow the same step for this recipe. Except instead of chicken, you're just going to be using tofu. And if you're interested on in seeing me making the same dish with tofu, comment below or send me a message and let me know. Our veggie is now tender to the consistency that I like. I hope you can see. Now we are going to add the chicken back in. And if you follow this recipe guys, the way I make it, your family is going to fall in love with this recipe. It is super delicious. Now we are going to add the noodles. Now that we have added our noodles, we are going to add the sauce that we prepared. And after we add the sauce, we are just going to stir fry for three minutes. Now we are going to add the rest of the green onion. As I mentioned earlier guys, if you don't have chow mein noodles, you can use whatever noodles that you have. Guys, look how beautiful this looks. Mm. 
guys now that our recipe is done we are ready to serve quick and easy chicken chow mein and this is the final result guys super quick delicious easy chicken chow mein i hope you try this recipe and if you do comment below and let me know what you think about it and here's a closer look of our final result this dish came out perfect And the meat seasoning take this dish to a whole other level. Here's a closer look. Nicely done. So good. Our veggies, cabbages, chicken, everything came out. Perfect. Hope you guys try this recipe, guys. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for staying with me until the end of this video. I hope you try this recipe. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you for watching my videos, guys. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye! Some quick and easy, tasty, better than takeout chow mein. Cooking made easy.